Today's devotional is from Mark 4, 1 through 20. Jesus starts his passage with the admonition to listen, and he uses the word listen 40 other times in the book of Mark. Jesus wanted the disciples to pay attention and to understand what he was teaching. I want to share a short story that illustrating how the disciples and we often tend to respond to his word. Three fellows went deer hunting, a doctor, a lawyer, and a preacher. Each shot the same big buck at the same time. A heated debate followed about whose shot killed the deer. A game officer comes by and takes a look at the buck and confidently announces he knows who shot. It was the preacher who got the buck. What? How do you know? The other two demanded. The, other off the officer says, easy. The bullet went in one ear and out the other. Is the word of the word received to pass 20 minutes on a Sunday or to check off our devotion checklist? But the message itself falls on derelict and the dead. Does it go in one ear and out the other? The parable of the sower in Mark 41 is an allegory about the kingdom of God that Jesus told his disciples to illustrate how people receive and respond to his teaching. In the parable, a farmer sows seeds in different types of soil, and the results of the seed's growth represent how people respond to the gospel. The farmer represents God and the farm, and the farm symbolizes his kingdom. The sower is Jesus, the Son of God, or today the believers who share the gospel with others. The seeds are the truth and the living word of God that Jesus came to plant inside humanity. Lastly, the different types of soil represent humanity. The good soil are the sons and daughters of God who have hearts that are soft to receive the word of God. The paths are people who have been hurt, broken, and misused. Their hearts are hardened from the pain of being so wounded. The rocky ground are the people who receive the word, but because there are many rocks around them, Rocks are representative of the trials, cares of the world, and temptations. And because they cannot grow their roots deeper, the word dies out. As the farmer works for a long period to restore the path that has been trampled on, abused, and used, is how God tends to those who have been so hurt and wounded. The beauty of our God is that he is the only one who can restore a path that has been so used, such as a century-old one. The seeds that produce three levels of plentiful harvest symbolize those hearers who respond positively to that message and persevere. If the harvest yield is of 30, 60, and 100 fold, it is miraculous and can be interpreted as the kingdom of God being present in Jesus' ministry and in the ministries of his disciples. When you see that something happened deep inside, your heart of stones cracks and opens to Jesus. And once he's inside, his word grows and grows. There is a power that comes into your life. It's the power of the seed, the power of the word of God, the power of the sower, and it has the power to transform the soul of your heart. The parable, parable as it is currently stands in Mark thus functions as a prophetic warning to those who do not listen, understand, and act, the first of the three seeds. But the emphasis also seems to be on a prophetic proclamation of the ultimate success of those who, who do, who are comparable to the holy seed or remnant of Israel implied in Isaiah 6, 9-13. Mark's reading of the parable further emphasizes the necessity to hear, understand, and respond appropriately to the message of the kingdom of God. May God's blessing be on you on this devotion.